Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is my kitchen. And I did a video a couple weeks ago showing you all inside all of my kitchen cabinets, what we love to eat, our favorite snacks, things that we buy over and over and over as far as food items go. And I got so many comments from you all about how come I didn't show you inside my dog's snack cabinet? That you all knew I had a snack cabinet for Maxie and Pollux. And you're right, I do. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. It If you're new to my channel, I have two dogs. I have Maxie, who is a 10-year-old white miniature schnauzer, and we have Pollux, who is a mixed breed, two-year-old something. We just did a DNA test on Pollux, and we are waiting for the results. So for now, we don't know what he is. Let me introduce you to Maxie and Pollux. If you don't know them, you're going to. And if you've been on my channel before, I know that you love to see them. So let me introduce you to the boys, and then I'll show you what's in their snack cabinet. This is Pollock. Say hey, buddy. You say hey to everybody. Oh, you just want in your booty scrubbed? <laughs> Gosh. Okay. All right. And this is the Maxer. I think he was taking a nap, y'all. Kind of woke him up when I started talking. But this is Maxie. Right, Moo? Can you say hi to everybody? You're looking real sleepy. We got up early this morning and we went on a big long walk before it got too hot outside. And I think he's just exhausted. Is that your party bone from your birthday party? Oh my goodness gracious. Show everybody all your toys. This is little Pollux's little corner. And I actually picked all of these toys up about an hour ago and he drags them all back in here. And if you all watched my video where I did the updates on Pollux and showed you his new bed, well, this is the state of his new bed at this point. Look at all of the holes he has picked. And y'all, he is not eating the stuffing. I promise, I promise. He picks it out and he spits it out, just like that, and then I pick it up. But yeah, that's the new bed. Show him the state of the birthday bone. Y'all remember the bone from the birthday party? Just let me see it. <laughs> there, is, there is no stuffing left. It is basically just a rag. But he loves this thing. So our kitchen really is the hub of our house. Here comes Pollux. He followed me into the bedroom and now he's back in the kitchen. But our kitchen really is the hub of our house. At any given moment, somebody is always in the kitchen, eating, snacking, doing work, hanging out with the dogs. It leads into our living room. So the kitchen is a crucial central point to our house, but the dog's cabinet is right there underneath the vegetable sink. I do not keep this cabinet organized. It just is like everybody who reaches in this cabinet to get something just throws everything back in. So here we go. Let's get in the dog's snack cabinet. See their snack cabinet is next to their bowls and this is it. Oh boy. This is the dog's snack cabinet along with my potatoes and onions. But let me show you what's in here. It's everything that they love. Yeah, oh, now you wanna get in here? Well, hang on a second. You can help me show everybody. So if you watch the birthday party video, <laughs> the dogs, they got a stink eye on me. Everybody's got an eyeball on me because I'm in their cabinet and I'm touching their treat. So I'm being watched from all corners. But if you watched Pollux's birthday video, he got these two bags of treats for his birthday. And they're from, I really don't know how to say it, Boss's Bakery? Oh, well, let's see if they want one. I got this bedtime tea because I give them a treat at bedtime and I just thought because there was lavender in it, it made sense to be bedtime. Let me give them one. <laughs> Here comes Max. <laughs> Look at this. And then we also got him burgers and fries. Which one do y'all want, guys? Lavender bedtime or burgers and fries? They're, they want a burgers and fries. What's going on? Oh, okay. Here one for the moo. And the cute thing is, and I didn't know when I bought these. Wait a minute, Paula, let me show them. The treats are in the shape of a bee. <laughs> they took off with the burgers and fries. But this company, when, when we went birthday shopping for Pollux, had so many different flavors of the cute little treats. And these were, these were the two that I picked out. 
I think they actually prefer the burgers and fries over the bedtime tea. You're back quick. The next thing in their cabinet are like things to keep them occupied is what I call them. Now, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> so, wait a minute, sir. So we bought these Yaki Yum peanut butter sticks for Pollux for his birthday. And they're made out of cornstarch and peanut butter and they look like this. And Pollux, <laughs> Pollux will chew on this for about, <laughs> For about an hour. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Can we just hold on? <laughs> but hey, hang on, y'all just back up. But I can't really give these to Maxie because he is old and Maxie is missing the majority of his front teeth. Maxie gets these little chicken sort of rawhide, and it well, they're not rawhide. Maxie gets these chicken wrapped peanut butter chews. And they are perfect for him because he's a small dog. Let me show them to you. See, they're just a little teeny chew. It's a peanut butter chew. And there's this. <laughs> okay, okay, Max, sir. Okay, okay, you go somewhere. You go somewhere. Pollux, I'm gonna give you one. Pollux is gonna get one of Maxie's peanut butter chews. Okay, Whew. I'm getting bombarded at the snack cabinet. But these are perfect for Maxi because he, he can get them in his back teeth. I, he feels like he's still getting the big hard shoe that Pollux is getting, but he's not. He's just getting these little peanut butter shoes. But these Yaki sticks, Pollux really seemed to like them, and I got him the peanut butter flavor. So this is good for Pollux, who is a tough chewer on his treats. I have an extra set of bowls in here because they're bowls in their little feeder. So I put one set in the dishwasher and then I get out a second set of bowls. So we, we go through different treats here. I like to switch it up so they never get tired of their treats. I love Nutro Crunchy Blueberry Treats. These come in all different flavors. They have them in apple, but the blueberry, y'all, if you could smell these, when you open the bag, they smell just like blueberries, like a treat that I would wanna eat, and that is one reason that I love these treats. I love to get the blueberry treats, and the dogs love them. The only downside is, can you see how small they are? I mean, they are teeny, weeny, weeny. So when I give one to Pollux, he's like, what? Like, did you give me something? <laughs> they're perfect for Maxi, but for Pollux, they're just a little small. So the treats that we always have in our house as a staple are the Newman's Own Dog Treats. They love the turkey and sweet potato, there's a chicken, and there is a peanut butter. And I keep these in the treat jar. I'll show you in just a second. But we order these in, in bulk, kind of, along with their food. And oddly enough, their food just got delivered this morning. So I'm gonna show you what I feed them on a daily basis, and we're gonna unbox that as well. But this is their favorite treat. Told you, I got two bags in here. <laughs> and we have milk bones. If you have watched the video on my channel where I make the pup cups, which is the homemade ice cream for dogs, I do put the milk bones in the pup cups because you need something really strong and sturdy and thick in order to hold the pup cup while your dog eats it and this is what I prefer to use. So this is why I have the milk bones in my cabinet. This is their dog food. And I'll show you what brand this is in a minute, but we keep the dog food in an airtight container because I order a 30 pound bag of dog food and I get one delivered, it's on auto ship. So I think it comes every six weeks, but I love to just put a small quantity into this airtight container and it stays under here. So I can just get it out, scoop the food and feed them right around the corner. Beneful chopped blends. This is what we feed our dog at night. We mix it with the dry kibble with some water on it. And this comes in all different kinds of um, varieties and flavors. I'm just down to the last one right now. Gotta get some at the grocery, but we, we mix this with their food at night. You're back. Oh my goodness. See, he went through <laughs> he 
he went through that little peanut butter chew in no time. Oh, this is Pollux's snuffle mat. I showed you all this in another video and he loves this thing. So in the mornings for breakfast, I will feed Pollux in the snuffle mat just one or two times a week. Hey boo, come on in here, come on in here. But it is a mat that you lay out on the floor. See, he loves this thing. You pour their dry food in it. And then dogs like Pollux who eat really, really fast. Look, and Maxie's back too. Yeah. Yeah, he ate those little treats. Yeah, they love to sniff and forage for their food in the snuffle mat. So it takes him about seven or eight minutes to actually eat his dog food out of this mat. And I just think it has been a great find. It keeps him occupied. He gets to use his mind. You can see the minute I get this sucker out of that cabinet, he is all over it. He wants me to put his food in the snuffle mat. These little teeny Nala bones are for Maxi. Because he doesn't have teeth and he's never been one to play with toys, just because I think they hurt his teeth, the little soft Nala bones are perfect for him. Now, they, this was a three pack and when I pulled out the little blue one and gave it to Maxi, Pollock stole it. So, but that's what these are. These are Maxi's little toys. This is Pollux's heart guard. This is his heartworm medicine that he gets once a month. Maxie, are you getting a drink, boo? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, can you not, can you just come on in here? What's going on? Why is mom in the cabinet? <laughs> Maxie actually gets a shot every year with his annual checkup that has this in it. So we don't have to give him the, the, the monthly remind, or the, the, we don't have to give him the monthly chew. Pollux is due for his annual shots in a couple months, and so we'll give him the shot and we'll stop doing the monthly chew, but that's why we have it. What do you think, Moo? Hmm, how was your little peanut butter chew? You ate that really fast too. Normally, the, the dog's shampoo's upstairs where they get a bath, but I bought this waterless shampoo for Pollux because when we first got him, I just didn't want to give him a bath. I thought it was going to be a really big deal, so I bought this. But the minute I squirted it on my hand, he freaked out when I came at him with like foam on my hand. And so we've never been able to use it. So it's in here. Can you back up, Moo? Y'all are right back. That didn't last a second. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I had this box sitting here so I could put my camera on it. So it would be the right height for me sitting on the floor. And they are so intrigued by all of their toys in the floor, all of their treats. What do y'all think I'm doing? Like, I have got everybody worked up, don't I? Because all the treats are in the floor. What's going on? What do you think? Uh-oh. No. 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 Did y'all hear that little bit of growling that went on? That was Maxi. Okay. Anyway, moving on. We have pill pouches. And I can give Maxi a pill, no problem. But we just have these if there is ever an issue with giving one of the dogs a pill. Um, if you stick the little pill in this pouch and they chew it and it's kind of, uh, it just goes down pretty easy. So we have, we have pill pouches. And then I have this. Let's see, I haven't opened this in a long time. Oh, this is their little bags for when we go on walks and we need to pick up poop. Right? Right? <laughs> the rest of this is just medicine. If we get prescription medicine from the vet or things we don't use, we just keep it all in a container. Right, guys? Let's put these back in here. Uh-oh. Mama spilled them. We gotta take these to the beach, don't we? So this is what was in the cabinet, and they are dying to get in there now. Go, Pollux, get in there. No, you don't want to? Oh, they're gonna check it out. I never just leave the door open. <laughs> oh, Max, you're gonna get up in there. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Hmm. You're just gonna stand back and watch? Are you supervising? Now what? But this is their little tree jar, and y'all, oh, it's dirty. 
I've had this jar for probably 15 years. Randy got this for me as just a little surprise gift a long, long time ago. And somebody asked me in one of my videos where I got it. And y'all don't even know, I've had it forever. It's got little chips in the paint, but I love it. And when I open this lid, the dogs come running. They know they're getting a treat. So these are the Newman's own peanut butter, or this might be a sweet potato treat. And you can see what the perfect size is. This is perfect for Pollux. And then because there's a crease down the middle, I just break it in half because Maxie only needs half. He doesn't need a whole treat because he's a little dude. My favorite snack and their favorite snack is Cheeto popcorn, right, Pollux? Hmm, right, Moo? That's our favorite snack all the time, isn't it? Not gonna ruin your dinner. Oh my goodness. Let's go show them your dog food that just got delivered. Wanna show them that? Okay, let's do it. Come on, you two. Come on. Here it is. Just came. Uh, yeah. Come here if you want to see what's in here. Oh, look at here. It's peanut butter treats. Oh my goodness, more peanut butter treats because we love the peanut butter. Peanut butter treats. Turkey and sweet potato treats. And, oh my gosh. Dog food. Is that your food? So we feed our dogs Holistic Select. It's the lamb meal recipe because years ago, our very first schnauzer we ever had had all sorts of food allergies. We tried everything and our vet recommended Holistic Select, this specific formula. And she was able to eat it without it having any food allergy issues. And so we've just always fed it to our dogs. All of our schnauzers have loved it. Pollux loves it. I just think it's a really good food. So this is what our dogs eat, Holistic Select. I don't know if you know this or not, but I love to get our dog food from Chewy.com. And the reason is, number one, they have the best price. But if you sign up for auto ship, you get a 5% discount. You just go on there and you say, yes, ship, ship me this dog food every, and then you put in your number. So mine is six weeks. And right before it is set to ship, I can change that at any time. I can say, delay it. I can say, send it now. I can say, cancel this. But as long as I'm signed up for auto ship, I get a 5% discount on everything that I order. So every six weeks, I have a 30 pound bag of dog food delivered and four bags of dog treats and it saves me five percent well i hope you enjoyed seeing inside maxi and pollock's snack cabinet those are their favorite things those are their favorite treats their favorite food what we always have in our house right pollock even he has learned in a short couple of months when you hear the treat jar open you better come running right boo <laughs> so until next time i'll see you later